Hi everybody, it's me Gemma, a story and song and today I am coming to you with an unhaul video. Now there was no video for me last week, it was actually my first wedding anniversary so I spent that with my husband, went for dinner, did a couple of nice things and also I have been working some overtime. My mum's getting married um, in a couple of weeks so there's been things to do with that and I just didn't get a chance to film anything so I have also been doing a bit of a clear out of some of my books because I have been bringing a lot more books into the house and quite frankly I just don't have room to keep every single book that I even just kind of like. So I thought I will go through them with you guys, let you know what I am getting rid of and most of these books will either go to family members that also like to read in my genres or we'll go to the charity shop and we'll go and get resold to somebody else. So I'm going to start off with quite a recent one. Now, I read A Curse So Dark and Lonely this month by Bridget Kemmerer and I will go into this a bit in my August wrap up, probably next week, but just wasn't a fan, won't be continuing the series, so this will go to the charity shop. So the next book I have is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge and this was a kind of Beauty and the Beast retelling. It was fine, kind of enjoyed it. Again, it'll just be passed on to someone else that might enjoy it more than me. Now this is a bit of perhaps a controversial one but I will also be unhauling The Poppy War by R.F. Huang. Sorry, R.F. Kuang. Um, mainly because I just didn't love it and I won't be continuing on with the series. I think I've gotten to the stage now with my reading where I've got enough series to be getting on with so I don't need to be keeping ones or continuing with ones that I'm just kind of mm, about. So this one will be going and I probably will not be picking up The Dragon Republic. And then I am unhauling all three books in the Lord of the Rings series. Mainly, not because I don't like the books, I do. But I just don't like these editions. Yes, I am that bitch. I just don't like them. And I've seen far prettier editions of Lord of the Rings, which I will at some point spring for, that'll look nice on my shelves. I've got a really nice hardcover of The Hobbit, and it just doesn't look right sitting next to them. So I'll get nice editions of Lord of the Rings at some point. And then also going is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. Read this a couple of months ago. I think my mum will probably like it, so I'll probably give it to my mum. It was fine, but it's just one of those thrillers. You're only ever going to read it once because once you've figured out who it is, that's, yeah, that's it. And then we have Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. Also the same. I reread this quite recently and it does have quite the twist, I have to say. And I did really, really enjoy it, but again, I'm probably not going to reread it again and there's other people that will enjoy it more than me. And then I am getting rid of Other Minds, The Octopus and The Evolution of Intelligent Life by Peter Godfrey Smith. I did like this, but I'll be honest, I'm just not that big into philosophy. The science bits I really liked, but the philosophy parts kind of, I just don't have the patience for. So then we have Bones Never Lie by Kathy Rice. Again, this will probably go to my mum. It's just a thriller. Once you've read it once, you've read it. And then I am also unhauling Why Does E Equal MC Squared by Brian Cox and Jeff Forshaw. Now, I realised pretty early in that I just couldn't be bothered reading this. Is that bad? I just, I don't. I find that with science type books, I take things in better if it's being explained to me by a person and it's got sort of visual things that I can see. Hi Finn. Um, whereas with history and all that kind of stuff, I'm kind of okay with reading it. But hello. Um, but a science, I just, I need someone to explain it to me. Hello. I'll get Finn in a video at some point properly. So then I'm also unhauling Men Explain Things to Me by Rebecca Solnit. 
and I read this. It was really good. It's got some really good short essays in it. Um, basically named after an essay she wrote where a man tried to explain her own book to her. <laughs> so it was good. Again, I'll pass it on to someone else that will now get something out of it as well. I am also giving away One Dance with the Duke by Tessa Dare because I stupidly bought two copies of this by accident. So I only need one. Then I am also unhauling The Whale of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson because I have nicer copies that all go together and I'm going to keep them. And then I am unhauling Vellum by Hal Duncan, which is the first book in the Book of All Hours series. Now, I really did enjoy this book. The author is actually Scottish as well. Um, and the sequel Ink was also very good. But I have only read this twice in, the, I think, 10 years I've owned it. So I'm probably not going to read it again. I'll pass it on to someone. Now, these ones may be slightly controversial, but I am also passing on the Strange the Dreamer duology. I just didn't get on with these. I think I don't get on with Lainey Taylor's writing and I've just had to come to terms with that. So I'm going to pass these on because I'm not going to make myself feel bad about not liking something just because a lot of other people like it. I'll also be passing on the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I think I've already given away number one. So I will give these two away as well. Somebody will probably be quite happy to find them in Bernardo's. <laughs> Another one that's going is Bones of the Lost, again by Kathy Rice, another one of the Temperance Brennan series. I do enjoy these, but I'll only read them once, as I've said, like four times already. Next, I will be giving away Stephen King's The Outsider. Probably one of my favourite of King's more recent works, but still, I felt that the last half let it down an awful lot, so I'm still going to give this away. The first half is really, really scary, for me it was anyway, and I think in the hands of a different author, it could have been done perhaps better, the ending could have been better. I will also be giving away the first and the last books in the Bulgarian series. I have doubles of these. <laughs> so I'm going to give away my copy of The Rose and the Dagger because this one is a hardback. I have a copy of The Rose, sorry, The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger in paperback and those two I'm going to keep, this one. And another double is this older copy of The Dragon Reborn, which is the third book in the Wheel of Time series. I again have two versions of this. I have this one and I have the American one which has the maps, the colour maps inside. So I'm going to keep the one with the coloured maps inside and get rid of this one. I'm also giving away Vlad the Impaler in search of the real Dracula by M.G. Trow. I, ugh, I didn't like this book. <laughs> um, it was just, it went back and forth. It didn't cover anything that I really didn't feel I already knew. And I just, the chronology of it bothered me an awful lot. So I'm going to give this one away. And if anyone can recommend any good um, Vlad the Impaler biographies, I'm all ears. Now the next one and last one is Forces of Nature by Professor Brian Cox and Andrew Cohen. Again, I've just realised that when it comes to science and maths, I need that to be explained to me by a person. Face to face, I cannot read about it because I do not take the information in, which is sad, but just how I have discovered that I learn. So there's about kind of 20 books there or so and I'll be getting rid of those in the next kind of couple of weeks. As I say, most of them will go to family members or to charity shops. I tend not to sell my books because I just find it to be more hassle than it's worth in all honesty. So if anyone thinks I should give any of those a second chance or has read them and had different opinions to me, then do let me know. As usual, I love comments, likes, subscribes, all that kind of stuff that YouTubers like. And if you have any video recommendations, new channels or anything, please drop a link below and I will check them out. Take care. Bye bye.